I like to go to bed with my face looking like a glazed donut. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin and Grape, where we embrace autumn all year long. Okay, so today's video is another current favorites video. I was slacking a little bit. I think I said I was gonna do this weekly and I really do wanna to try to do it weekly. So I'm gonna get better at that, but you guys seem to enjoy my last one. So I had some items here that I've been loving recently. Again, it is a wide range. Of course, there's beauty, but there's also a candle from a certain company I wanted to share. There's a book, there is some face, like skincare products, things like that. So please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the like button if you like these kind of videos and let's jump into it. Okay, so the first brand that I wanted to talk about is Drunk Elephant. They are a skincare line that I have been loving. So just a little disclaimer, I'm not a professional. These are just products that have been working really well for my skin. As you guys know, I do get acne. It's typically hormonal acne, specifically around the chin area, especially when it's that time of the month, things like that. So these are some products that I've been loving that have really been helping my skin improve and do not break me out. So the first one I wanted to mention was I believe like their top seller, something that they're very well known for. This is their jelly cleanser. I love this cleanser. If you are looking for a cleanser that is going to help remove your makeup, I do do like a double wash, but um, that's gonna really clean off your face at the end of the night, get down in there, but not leave your skin feeling tight and dry. This is definitely one I would recommend trying. I will leave all links down below. Um, I have very dry, sensitive skin, like I said, in other videos, very dry, especially moving from sea level to Colorado. My skin, I like need all the moisture I can get, which stay tuned, I've got something good for that. Um, but this is really good for my skin. I cannot stand when I clean my face and you can like physically feel how tight it is afterwards. This doesn't do that, very gentle, but again, will really like give you a nice deep clean and remove all of that just dirt and makeup and things from the day. Okay, another item that I love from them is their C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I am 31. I should have been using eye cream from a lot younger. I've talked before about how I actually want to get that like procedure done when they put like the filler under here and I will be doing that eventually, but things like this really help my under eye area. I have dark circles, fine lines, things like that. Um, and this is just a really good like firming and brightening eye cream that I feel like really makes a difference. It like softens the under eye area. I put this on morning, uh, like before, like while I'm doing my skincare before I start my makeup. And then I definitely use it before bed at night. Smells great, it has that vitamin C kind of smell. And I just really, really love it. If you look at the reviews online, you will see it has like a 4.9 out of five. Uh, a lot of people really love this eye cream. So I definitely recommend that you check it out. Okay, my favorite product from them, and I actually use like their whole skincare line. I really love it. This is just like current favorite. So I'm trying to touch on the ones that I like the most. But my favorite product as a whole from Drunk Elephant is the Virgin Marula Facial Oil. So like I just said, I'm very dry and I like to go to bed with my face looking like a glazed donut. <laughs> um, I really like to use an oil as my last like step before I go to bed at night, I wake up and my skin just feels so much more like plump and hydrated. And I like physically see and notice a difference in my dry patches when I use this. I ran out a little bit ago, they were sweet enough to send this to me and I notice a difference every single time that I use it. So it says it's like rehab for your skin, which I totally agree. Rich in critical antioxidants and omega-6 and nine, nourishes, balances while restoring a youthful glow. Completely agree with everything that it says. Again, the reviews speak for themselves. It's a really great product. Drunk Elephant is not, you know, the cheapest, but again, like my friend Naomi always says, you need to invest in your skin. We're very quick to spend a lot of money on makeup and a palette and brushes and things like that, but not always for skincare. And that's really where it starts. So if you need something to give your skin like a little bit of like a nourish, balance, like just moisture, plumpness, <laughs> plumpness, this will do it. I'm telling you, it's really, really great. I definitely recommend that you try it. This is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Sticking with like the makeup and skincare items, I wanted to share Moxie Lash. I've mentioned them before. They did send me these like six months ago, maybe a year ago. They have no idea I'm talking about this right now though. This was not asked of me, uh, but I really love their falsies. So these are the ones that are magnetic. So here's the eyeliner here. So I'm wearing them today. Today I'm wearing the Sassy, as you can see, empty. Um, they have a few different ones. These are the classy ones here that I wear a lot. They're more natural than the ones I'm wearing and they have way more dramatic ones than the ones I'm wearing as well. But the reason I love these is they really stay in place and they're just so easy. There's no glue involved. So I do my full face um, 
my liner because I like a big like dramatic wing so I use my regular eyeliner that I love and then right when I'm done I hit my top lashes with just one coat of mascara and then I go in with the moxie lash the liquid magnetic eyeliner and I just put this very tightly at my lash line let it dry for about a minute and I pop these on they are magnetized and they stay put I have worn these out in the wind I've worn them for like eight hours they're really really comfortable as well when I take them off I just take a q-tip and like some makeup remover and just clean the little magnets that are on there just so you don't get that build up and i've worn these so many times and had no issues with them at all okay the next item i wanted to share is from pixie beauty so i usually get my pixie products at target also i'm sorry if the lighting is shifting colorado is typically like full sun and is cloudy and sunny it's like partially cloudy it's like rolling in and out so i can see the lights changing but anyways um, they did send me this. I don't know if it's out yet. I'll let you know down below. This isn't sponsored. I don't have to talk about it. They just sent me PR. Um, but I have been loving this. It is the On The Glow Blush. It's a tinted moisture stick. So basically it's like a cream blush. But it is absolutely beautiful, the color. They have three different colors that they sent me. They may have more than that. This one... If it says the name of it. Okay, this one's in Juicy. It is so good. So here's the color here, and it looks a little like crazy when you first put it on, but again, it's just tinted. So as you put, you only need a little bit though. I put a lot on to show you, but as you blend it out with your finger or a beauty blender, it's just going to become this like beautiful, beautiful tint of color to the skin. It just screams summertime. It's great when you want that more dewy look and less powders in the summer. So I'll let you know down below if they're in stores. Um, if not, they will be soon because they sent it out just like a few days ago. But I definitely recommend that you try them if you are into a really good cream blush. So the next item is not new, but it is new to me. I have tried Lime Crimes, Velveteens, their liquid lipsticks many times, but I needed a good black liquid lipstick. So Jade the Libra, if you don't follow her, I'm obsessed with her videos. She is so fantastic. Um, she's here on YouTube. Anyways, she loves this liquid lipstick. She rocks black lip. Like, I'll put a picture of me wearing this so you can see the color. This is in black velvet, and I have been completely hooked on it. I love a black lip, and this one is super, super comfortable. But for being black, you know, when you have a black lipstick, a lot of times it can be patchy, and you also get like that ring. Now, this is a black lipstick. It's going to have like a little bit of that fade on the inside there, but where it stays on the lips, it's beautiful and it is not patchy and it's super, super comfortable. So for all my Halloween, autumn loving soul girls, if you're looking for a good black, I definitely recommend that you check this one out, Lime Crime Black Velvet. Okay, the last three items that I have to share are all like fall Halloween related things because that's what we do here on this channel. The first thing I had to share, I think I'm, I can't remember, I didn't wanna go back and watch if I mentioned these candles or not. I don't know, but either way, I'm always here to support my girl Danny. It's a candle from Moon Lore Apothecary. My friend Danny has her own Etsy shop now. The candles are just absolutely stunning. So I'm sharing this one again because I want to leave the link down below. She has since released um, Practical Magic, Harry Potter, and Hocus Pocus themed candles. Oh my God, it smells so good. This one I think is the Caramel Popcorn so good the candles themselves are stunning they come with the most beautiful pieces on top i have the winnie sanderson candle on the way i will share it when it arrives i did get another orange one because i wanted winnie um, but it has like a broom here on the outside she's the sweetest thing ever my air just cut off if you heard that difference she's the sweetest thing ever so if you're looking for someone amazing to support that has a halloween soul Trust me, go check them out. Again, the Instagram and the Etsy shop will be listed down below. Typically, you see this candle off to the side, so you've definitely seen it before, but highly recommend. Okay, so I also wanted to share these skeleton earrings because I'm obsessed, and I just wanted to remind you all that Shein has Halloween items on their website all year long. So if you're like me and you want more Halloween in your life, even in the middle of spring and summer, you can get items like these. I also get pins for my denim jackets from there. They have all kinds of things. They have Halloween on there all year, and most shops do not, as we know. So I had to share these. They're just gold earrings with these little, like, fake, like, diamond eyes here they're so cute and there's a little star up here and i'm obsessed with stars so i will be getting a lot of use out of these here soon i'm going to wear them this summer as well they're just so fun but shein has a ton of different options so i wanted to mention that because if you're like me you just can't get enough and you need all the halloween things all year long last item i had to share is a book that i have already read but i am in the process of reading again as you can see i just cannot get enough of it this is a season with the witch which I hope that you just started singing the song in your head. But anyways, um, 
This book is fantastic for any Salem lover. Not just if you love Salem, but if you're planning a trip. I just, I get like lost in this book. I really, really enjoy it. So it says The Magic and Mayhem of Halloween in Salem, Massachusetts. It's a great, great book here. It is actually about, um, it's a nonfiction book. It is like, I'm so jealous. I wish I could have done this with my life. But it's about a man who moved his family to Salem to spend an entire Halloween there from the 1st through the 31st and he documents his entire experience. So the people, the places, the things he saw, where he stayed, um, really cool interviews with people with actual witches and just uh, historians, you know, learning about the city, just so many really cool things. Um, but I find it to be like a really interesting and easy read and I love it. I rolled through it the first time and I'm rolling through it again. It just brings me back to my favorite city. So if you are someone who is a Salem enthusiast as well, I definitely recommend that you grab a copy of The Season with the Witch. Okay, so that's it for my current favorites. I will do this next week, I promise. Um, I'll be filming a lot more. Like I said in a previous video, we have a crazy summer coming up. I have big news we'll share when we can. Um, so things will be changing eventually towards the end of summer, but for now I'm going to like knock out content because I have so many ideas and things that I want to film. So. I'll be back next week with another current favorites. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys down there and I'll see you in my next one.